everyone. We're here at Beaver Stadium where Penn State just lost to Ohio State 20 to 13. It's the Nittany Lions' eighth consecutive loss to the Buckeyes. James Franklin falls to one in 10 all time against Ohio State. There were a lot of missed opportunities in this one. Nittany Lions could have easily won the game, but ultimately came up short once again. Wow, what were your main takeaways from the contest? It's tough because I know Penn State fans are not happy with this one. Obviously the result, the continuous losing to Ohio State, but I don't think they really have a whole lot to be mad at. You can make the argument that Ohio State is the best team in the country. I know they lost to Oregon, but that, you can make the argument that's a game they should have won. And Penn State hung in this game the whole time. Obviously there were some things that didn't go their way, whether it be a call, a few bad penalties. Um, but then my ultimate takeaway is that the wide receivers did not step up today. Um, you had Nick Singleton, I believe, was the leading receiver with the most amount of receptions. Tyler Warren also got involved, but it wasn't until late. And the offense just didn't click. Um, obviously, there were turnovers, there were penalties, but they hung in there with Ohio State. Obviously, you had that last offensive possession that they, they should have scored. You had four tries to get in from the one. They couldn't do it. But overall, obviously, it's a tough loss. It's a tough pill to swallow. But I think Penn State should be happy. Not, Penn State fans should not be happy moving forward, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. Yeah, I mean, anytime I think Tyler Warren was the leading rusher and Nick Singleton yeah, was like, the leading receiver, that kind of tells you the story of the offense today. A lot of missed opportunities. Um, obviously, they weren't able to cash in. There was the interception in the end zone. There was the fourth down stop at the goal line. Um, so obviously, you know, the offense could have played a lot better today. I thought the defense played pretty well. Obviously, you look at the, the pick six by Zion Tracy was a huge play. Uh, Zachy Wheatley with the big fumble at the goal line, punching the ball out from Will Howard uh, to force the touchback. So the defense made some plays, kept the team in the game. Um, and like Lyle kind of alluded to, I think if you're Penn State, obviously this loss stings. Obviously, it's going to take a while to get over, but you kind of went out there and showed that you can go toe to toe with one of the best teams in the country. Um, and so I think if you're Penn State, you can at least look at that as, as the silver lining moving, moving forward and say, you know, if you make it into the playoffs, you should be able to compete with some of those elite teams. Um, obviously, for Penn State, their first loss of the season, they fall to seven and one. Um, so. They, they've got uh, you know a tough one coming up against Washington next weekend in the whiteout. They'll hope to avoid a letdown game after this one. I think if you're Penn State, the biggest thing now is just don't let one loss turn into two or, or even more than that. I think you just want to finish out the season strong, finish out 11-1 and, and secure your spot in the playoffs. Um, obviously a heartbreaking loss, but again, if Penn State, I think, played a better game today and didn't make as many mistakes, they could have won. So I think it's, it goes to show that they can compete uh, at the highest level if, if they play the right game. Um, but obviously they, they once again lose to Ohio State in heartbreaking fashion in front of a record-setting crowd of 111,000 here at Beaver Stadium. But that's it, for, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and analysis, and we'll be back with you guys soon.